guys. So I wanted to start trying to cover maybe some more um, topics besides just like Tip Tuesdays, but maybe touching more on things that people in the queue or um, other direct sellers or people who run their own small businesses or other things like that might find valuable. Um, so I'm going to start trying to do maybe on Thursdays, because that's usually when I do trainings for our team, um, doing a quick video that kind of talks about some subject that relates to small business running or um, direct selling or something like that, right? I think it could be fun. I think it could be helpful. Um, pardon me while I mute my computer, because it's making noise. Um, so today I thought I'd talk about time management. Time management is like super, super critical in the world of um, direct selling because a lot of people aren't able to devote um, full-time attention to this gig. And that means that you really got to make the most of your time when you have the ability to work on your business, right? Um, I am lucky enough to have my daughter in full-time daycare, but for the first year of our business, year and like a couple months, I was juggling being a mom and helping to run the household, but also um, running the business at the same time. So I definitely had to do the time management, and I still do, because the thing is, now that I work full-time at this business, I mostly work Monday through Friday from like 8 to 5-ish, um, but I do have some flexible hours because I work from my house. Um, but I've had to be more um, aware of my time management, actually, because you, it's really easy to get sucked into a task that isn't what we call an IPA, an income producing activity, and kind of lose sight of your goal. You get so sucked into making a really nice graphic or um, organizing everything or doing an inventory or something like that, and none of those things directly produce money for you. Um, so they're great uses of your time sometimes because they are important things to need to get done. Your inventory is important for um, accounting records. Your having everything organized makes it easier to find things when you're packing and shipping and makes you more time efficient. Plus, if people are coming to your house to shop, if you're with like LuLaRoe, for instance, um, keeping things organized is really important. Um, graphics draw attention. Like there's lots of great reasons to use to do those activities, but not letting them get in the way of your income producing activities. Um, so some of my tips for time management. The first thing um, I do power, like power hours, um, I take an hour, so like say from eight to nine, and I pick a task, and that's the task I'm gonna do for that hour. So for instance, um, usually my day starts with, um, uh, my day usually starts at like 7.30, because that's when my husband takes my daughter to daycare, um, and I get started right away. So 7.30 to like 8.30, I'm packing and shipping. That's the first thing I do every day is I pack and ship all orders. Usually I don't have enough to fill that entire hour because I'm relatively quick at shipping. So um, I usually have some leftover time. But 7.30 to 8 I would say is actually when I'm packing and shipping. So I pack and ship. And then like um, 8 to 9 I schedule all my posts. The reason I do this first thing in the morning is that I found that if I wait and I work on my social media throughout the day, I'm less likely to post, which is a real bummer for some people. Um, so I schedule my posts. I use later, I use the native Facebook scheduler, um, and things like that. So I work on my social media. I set up all of my posts for Instagram for the day. I set up all of my Facebook posts for the day. And usually if I have leftover time in that hour, I will, um, go on Pinterest and I'll pin some stuff. Um, funnels. I'll talk more about that later. I have so many things to share. Um, so that's one thing. Um, as I do these power hours. Um, during those power hours, I don't answer text messages, I don't respond to Facebook messages, um, and I don't engage on Facebook like at all. I, I just, I focus on the thing that I'm doing. So if I'm scheduling Facebook, I'm not looking at my notifications, I'm literally just scheduling my posts and getting out. Um, same thing on Instagram, um, because it's really easy to get sucked in and you lose time that way. So I focus on exactly what I'm doing, that task, and that's all I do. Um, the other thing is I chunk things together. So I don't necessarily, I have, yeah, I'm sure you can relate, I have smaller tasks that may not fit my full hour. So I chunk those together. So like um, for LuLaRoe, there are several groups we can go and post um, links and kind of advertise your group and, and build your following. I'll go and advertise in those groups, but I don't have enough groups to advertise in to fill my full hour. I don't have enough groups to advertise in to fill like 10 minutes because it's like two seconds to do that. It's real quick. Um, so what I do for the rest of my hour is I go and I find um, posts where people are in search of an item and I share items that we have that match that criteria or um, I look for um, multi-sales to be a part of or something like that. Like I, I do something else to grow my business. It's kind of like a I'm chunking it together as like things that grow my business. Um, I also tend to um, to make myself a little bit more efficient. I chunk things together in a different way too. So I take a lot of flat lays. They're very popular in our groups. So I take a lot of flat lays. 
when I do um, flat lays, how I do it is I pull all of my outfits first. I don't pull an outfit and take a picture and make a graphic. I pull every outfit. So I'll have a stack of like 45 outfits. I put like skirt, it'll be like skirt, shirt, jewelry, and then I'll do another skirt, shirt, jewelry, or whatever. So I can kind of keep track. The jewelry is like my breaking point for each outfit. Um, but I pull all of my outfits first. As I'm pulling them, I actually write them down on this list um, with the sizes that they are. Um, and I'll get to why in a minute. So I chunk them, I pull all of my outfits, then I take all of my outfit photos and I make sure that I take them. So like I'll start a stack and then I'll start another stack and another stack. And then I make sure I go in reverse order. So I'll take pictures of this stack and then this stack and then this stack. And the reason I do that is because I've written all of my sizes and stuff down, I don't have to reference anything. I can literally, when I, I'll go through and I'll edit all my pictures and then I'll start putting in my graphic tags that have my sizes and stuff and I can reference my sheet and I can see exactly what size and style something is really, really easily without having to go back and reference it. I just, I'm literally going down my list. So easy, so simple. Um, but I chunk it all together because if I were to take a picture um, or pull an outfit, take a picture, edit that picture and then post it on Facebook, um, it's not super time efficient. It is much more efficient to just pull them all like boom, 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 and then photograph them all, boom, 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 call it a day. Um, and then the last thing I was gonna talk about is scheduling yourself ahead of time. Um, when it comes to time management, I find that it is best if you are ahead of schedule. So ideally, um, for me, we do, um, I'm trying to think of some examples. So we do Tip Tuesday on Tuesdays. I'll, I'll do my um, YouTube video. I do um, wall drops of our pieces that we have that match that video. I do a bunch of like corresponding things. Um, it is, it works out best if I'm able to record my Tip Tuesday video on Monday and then upload it on Tuesday. Um, because then if I can do it on Monday, I have less to do on Tuesday and Tuesday I can focus on Wednesday's tasks and Wednesday I can focus on Thursday and whatever on and on and on. Right. Um, if I have to record it on Tuesday, there is a, t a chance that I may not actually do it because I can get caught up. If I have, um, say we have a flurry of orders on Monday and I'm spending like two hours, um, packing and shipping, or, um, I have a hard time with like one of my scheduling programs or, um, I have, I also have two training videos that I watch on Tuesdays, so those training videos can run long. Um, there's lots of things that can result in me not getting that video done, but if I'm ahead of schedule, if I've planned my week out so that I'm able to, um, to do that ahead of schedule, it works a little bit better. So highly recommend that you try to stay ahead of schedule if you can. It could take a couple weeks to get back on track, but, um, if you can get yourself set up through like, say one week of extra, extra work, so that the following week you're already ahead of schedule, that helps a lot. Um, as I said, we post a lot of flat lays. I post um, between 18 and 20 every Wednesday, in addition to posting um, one per day in our group, um, excluding Wednesday, when I post 18 to 20. Um, so what does that mean? That means that I photograph, usually on Tuesdays is my day when I photograph my flat lays. I will photograph um, approximately 30 to 45 flat lays because 18 to 20 plus seven for or plus six for all the other days and we're at like 26 right so 30 means i have four waiting in the wings now why do i want some waiting in the wings because someone might buy one of the pieces in my flat lays and i can't post it then because someone bought a piece which is great but it means i don't have that piece for a flat lay anymore um, sometimes I get really, really busy and I get, uh, get called away and I don't have time to take flat lays. Um, this week is a great example. I didn't have time to take flat lays this Tuesday. I had plans all day Tuesday. So I had a buildup of flat lays I hadn't shared with my group from previous weeks because I had scheduled ahead. Um, and so I was able to still post all of my normal flat lays, even though I took no flat lays this week. Um, so scheduling ahead can be a real like lifesaver to your business. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. Um, and that's all I've got for you guys. So the three main things I talked about, power hours, condensing everything into like a, like focusing for one hour on one task or a, a small cluster of tasks that are related, um, chunking up your work so that you can be more efficient. So, um, taking all of your, pulling all of your flat lays, taking all of the flat lays at once, uh, taking all of your pictures at once and then making all of your collages, um, and then uploading them all to shop the route, like doing them in chunks instead of doing like one piece, one piece, one piece, doing like a big chunk of something, a batch. Um, and then the last part was trying to stay ahead of schedule whenever you're capable of staying ahead of schedule. And again, that goes back to why I schedule my social media first thing in the morning. And that's the thing I schedule is because if I 
get distracted, I will not schedule. I won't post it. I won't post to my social media. I just won't. I know me. I've met me. I don't do it. Um, but if I schedule it ahead of time, I am no longer responsible for it and I can do whatever I need to do and I can work on whatever I need to work on and not mess up my schedule. Um, so anyways, so that's all I have for you today. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Bye.